Hey guys, my name is Freya. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. Very, very much appreciated. Thank you for coming back. Today is my second product empties and I do have quite a bit here. So I don't know how long this is going to take. I don't know how well I'm going to do with explaining some of these. And I just finished filming um, another video which will be up before this one. And I'm just going to use the box to put all, all of them in so I know what I'm showing and what I'm not. So first thing is the Nivea Micellar Skin Brief Professional Makeup Remover Face Eyes 0% Product, product Residue. And it's waterproof, so it gets off waterproof makeup. I honestly love this. This is my most favourite makeup remover. Lately, the last, I don't know, couple months, I haven't really been using makeup remover uh, because I have mature skin. I do have dry under eyes sometimes and I, you know, got wrinkles, some fine lines and wrinkles forming under there. I don't want to be rubbing at my eyes. So what I usually use is a cleansing balm to take off my makeup just because I find it a lot colder. Uh, lot kinder on mature skin uh, for my skin anyway and it just makes sense but this if i am to use a makeup remover this is fantastic it does not sting it doesn't dry my eyes the main thing is the stinging because i have some makeup removers for example this one which has hardly been touched is the Micellar Hyaluronic Aloe Water by Garnier and this stings the heck out of my eyes. I can't use this on my eyes, I can use it on the rest of the face and um, it says it removes makeup, cleanses and replumps. No rinsing for that one. Well if I get that on my eyes I am rinsing the heck out of them because that hurts. But this no, this is great, so well worth the money, um, if you find it, I haven't found it since buying this, maybe in Boots or a big super drug or something like that, and I'll be looking for this again for sure, I'm definitely going to repurchase, because sometimes I do want to quickly remove my makeup if my eyes are feeling a little bit like you know heavy from makeup because sometimes my eye might water this one waters sometimes and that could get on the lid and then that could go a little bit like crusty <laughs> i don't know you know <laughs> but um and in which case i may want to use this to wipe it off so yeah that is great second thing i want to show you is the slice mask sheet it's a watermelon and it's by Co, Co Costa, Co Costa. So these are funny little things. I've uh, kept two because I wanted to show you how they come. So you get like two lots, two sheets, um, and they're just like paper, and they come like this, and you just put them wherever you need them in places all over your face. And, you know, I found these great, very hydrating, it felt good. This is meant to um, moisturise and refresh in hydrant. Um, yeah, so it does what it says. But, uh, I don't know, you know, I'm not really sure. I like, like, just having it in certain places and not all over the skin. But, you know, you don't have to worry about trying to unfold a sheet mask and then squishing it down and all that it is much easier to use so and it does hydrate the skin it my skin felt wonderful after this so definitely recommend that okay so talking about cle cleansing balms here is the acti labs luxury cleansing balm and um it just comes like this it is how many mils 50 mils great this is very lightweight it's not um like waxy it feels like a cream 
like a literal cream it feels like you're putting a face cream on your face and it melts away the makeup so easily um it, it's just fantastic it comes off great i always use like one of those mitts like face mitts you know which you just put on your hand and rub it off with warm water that's what i use to remove any cleansing balms um and it just comes off so easily using that with this but really if you haven't got a mitt just use water put water on your face as if you're using a, just a normal face wash and it will come off because i've tried that before absolutely brilliant i love this and you know if i see it again I, th I would repurchase it definitely love this well worth it okay so here is saturday skin and this is called i remember it's printed on the side wide awake brightening eye cream and um yeah it's great actually i really enjoy this it's quite thick very hydrating I loved it it's great under makeup even though it's thick it does um sink into skin very well it doesn't leave any residue it felt so good on my eyes my eyes felt so hydrated using this it doesn't irritate um it's just really great and I would definitely repurchase this again so wonderful product I have here the pixie body treats rose body polish and i only got 30 mils and um yeah i mean it was okay the fact is i went through this i think i only used it like twice and it was gone maybe three times it didn't go very far uh i i think you buy them full size like 150 200 mils definitely worth it you know for the bigger lot it will last longer but to be honest because 30 mils didn't go very far i'm not gonna repurchase maybe you know i was gonna get in the shower first get my body wet then use it maybe it would have gone further i use it on dry skin because it says uh, use before shower or bath by gently massaging into skin leave one to two minutes I mean when I did use it it felt great it really did um, make my skin feel soft it was good but um, it just didn't go very far you know so because of that I don't think I will be repurchase, repurchasing this unless I get a full size at a good deal like 30 40 percent off you know so uh i have here hemp cream 1000 milligram and um it's just called hemp cream so i got this off ebay if you just type in hemp cream on ebay i'm sure this will pop up it was quite cheap it's under a tenner i believe and um it's just a really nice soothing cream i have fibromyalgia which is chronic pain my muscles ache my joints ache you know i get real bad like sniff stiff neck and um back ache as well sometimes on my legs ache i get achy leg syndrome um which is just part of the fibro thing and this really helps and i use this on my kids as well um leon would have he's 14 my youngest son he would have aching like wrists or an aching leg he slept funny or he's been doing a lot of pee and his legs are sore and i'll just put this on and it does the trick this is great well worth the money not that expensive can't remember how much on ebay check it out Sorry, I'm just dropping things in the box there. So here we have Time Revolution, the first treatment essence RX Pro Fermenter trademark. And this is by M Misha, Misha, Misha. So I first heard about this by James Walsh, who recommended it. And I thought, okay, I'll get this. I got this in um, like a gift set with some other products which i haven't fully used up here which is the night repair 
uh, Pro Bio Ampule, so I got that to use up. And um, yeah, I, I, I love this, it's gone. <laughs> absolutely love this it makes my skin feel hydrated it's refreshing it's just really nice to put on your face before you do any other sort of things um i even use it after a spray so i'll just spray my face with like a toning spray or essence spray and i'll put this on after <laughs> you know um it is great absolutely great my skin always felt nice and hydrated with it that's all i can say really it's um a good product great i would definitely repurchase okay here's another pixie body trees and this is the glycolic body lotion which is glycolic acid and jingzing and this, I have to say, I will definitely repurchase. Yes, I went through it quite quickly. I share a lot. I like to be clean. And um, since getting this, I haven't wanted to use any other body lotion. My skin feels so soft and nice. I love the smell. It just feels so good my, and toned. My skin feels toned with this. It's amazing. I love it. And it's uh, exfoliating because of the glycolic acid, jingzing, which is like energy or wake, you know, um, you have a lot of products for like, um, for the face with jingzing in, which is just meant to give energy to your face, bring you awake, alive. And this does this for the body. It is amazing. And I will definitely be repurchasing this this week. I want more. So yeah, absolutely great. So the next thing I have is the Instant instant Anti-Age Eraser Multi-Use Concealer by Maybelline. Yeah. So I don't like this. I will not repurchase it. I like the actual product itself. The concealer goes on great. It blends nicely. It looks lush. It feels good. It doesn't dry out the skin. It is great. But oh, just put it in different packaging. This is not only unhygienic, I mean, you can't wash it, so you're going to be getting bacteria all around there. I just took a chance and thought, oh, if I start getting spots around my eyes, obviously I'll stop using this. But I mean, you know, I clean regularly. I never reuse or hardly ever reuse my brushes. Uh, I never reuse a beauty sponge or... A beauty blender you know I never reuse it I wash them regularly so with that that's probably what has saved me from um, getting any infection I don't know but then I do put it on like this so I don't know you know I'll do that and then I'll use I don't know I'm just lucky I guess I'm just lucky maybe there's something in this which kills bacteria maybe they thought that maybe that's why i haven't got any irritation i don't know but i don't like the idea of it and i just find it messy look at that it's got all around there obviously you have to be careful i guess of how much you twist it to how much is coming out and i uh, i mean i've had this i've picked this up and you know it's just getting on my hands already so I won't be repurchasing that unless they use different packaging and then for sure I will. So we have Neutrogena Hydro Boost Eye Awakening Gel Cream. Oh this is great. I absolutely love this and I miss it already. This has, um, right I'll read what it says, Hydro Boost Eye Awakening Gel Cream works in three ways. To fade away busy days from your eyes for a radiant and refreshed look. Okay, so how does it do it in three ways? It doesn't really say. So, um, you know, it's, it's got a lot of great ingredients in here. I can't even read, guys. My eyes are that bad. I am so sorry. But, um... It's, it's great. It is fantastic. I'm sure it has uh, peptides. Yeah. Oh, 
That's what it's I can't read the back because it killed my eyes just reading that little bit. And all the ingredients just merged together when I tried looking at that to read that out. But um, yeah, it has peptides in it. So it boosts collagen. It uh, hydrates the eyes. It does exactly what it says it does. It's a hydrating awakening boost. It is fab. I love this and I will definitely be repurchasing this again for sure. Okay, so here I have the Urban Decay Perversion Waterproof Fine Point Eye Pen. Now, this, it was great when I first got it. Absolutely fab. You know, went on lovely. But then it started to be a bit of a pain. It was like drying. It was hard to work with. The tip there is frayed, so I can't get a nice fine point anymore and although you know if i tried like putting it on my yeah you know it's coming out it's still doing it there it still seems to be lots in there but um it's just a pain in the ass to work with and quite frankly it stresses me out so because of that reason i am decluttering it it's going in in with the rest so technically not an empty because there's still a lot in there I just don't like this. Maybe I just got a bad one. I don't know. So another face mask. Gently warming facial steam mask. Uh, cleanses pores. And who is this by? I have no idea. I'll just show you. So if you see this. Okay. It's by okay. It says it on the back there. Uh, oh and a K, a single K, so, see that, okay, so um, this, I really love this, you know, it's a uh, half mask, so it just goes around your lips, and like here, it's meant to just get all the pools, like, you know, steaming out all the, like, ugh, from your face, around your cheeks, where your pools are more enlarged, and then, yeah, it felt hot. It felt very warm. I should say not hot. It wasn't a hot, hot. But it was very warm. Um, it was nice. I really enjoyed it. And uh, it was easy to use because it was just a half mask. Great. Um, would I purchase this? I don't know. I might do. It depends how much it was. I got this in a glossy box, so I don't know. But it's good. I mean, it works. Another mask which is uh, it, it heats up is this. So this is spacemask.com in, interstellar relaxation. So this just goes on like this. It's like hard. Basically, as soon as you put this on your eyes, like a face mask, it heats up. It starts heating up. You leave it on. 15 to 20 minutes it's meant to soothe the eyes um it takes away eye strain you know when your eyes just hurt it relaxes your eyes it just hydrates as well it makes them feel really really good and i used this on a day that my eyes were hurting i was stressed out i hadn't had a lot of sleep i do get eyeball ache you know my eyesight isn't that great now and um I need glasses so I do wear glasses for watching TV and reading and uh, I should be wearing them all the time really um, so sometimes my eyes do strain and I use this after 20 minutes and I kept it on the 20 <laughs> they were that bad oh it felt great my eyes felt so relieved and um yeah there's still a slight ache there but nowhere near as much you know it was like it's heaven absolutely well worth it if i see this um on a site or if i'm in you know shopping in town or something i'm gonna be picking me up a bunch of these definitely so great well worth it I got quite a few things guys so the next thing I have here is the star skin dream kiss plumping and hydrating lip mask this was just one which went over the lips 
uh, kept it on for like something like 15 minutes and um, I don't know whether it plumped up my lips or not. You know, my lips felt nice and hydrated after. Whether they were plumped, I don't know. I can't remember, I'm not sure. But as far as a mask, just to treat your lips and to, you know, just moisturise them, hydrate them. Yeah, great. Definitely great. Another mask. So this is the Vitamin Suze. Vitamasus Vitamasus Pearl Sheet Mask Brightening. I have another one of these I got in a glossy box <laughs> a couple weeks ago. But uh, this is a brightening mask, loved it. My skin did feel clear, it did look brighter. I mean, um, really nice sheet mask. That's all there is to say about it. Worth the money? Yeah. Okay, so onto another concealer. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Satin finish in uh, light peach. So, as you can see, it's all used up. There's a little bit in there, but I couldn't get it out. I couldn't get enough out, so I was like, okay, that's going. Um, I really enjoy this one. I love the shade. It's a lovely shade, very brightening on the, the eye. It was uh, moisturising for sure, definitely hydrated. Love the thickness of it, you know, I, I do like thicker concealers. I love this and I'll definitely be getting that again, yeah. Okay, we got the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Now, if you've watched a few of my past videos, especially when I first started out, <laughs> uh, if you watch them, you would see me using this quite a bit. I use this for every single inner corner highlight. If I use a setting spray for shimmer, I would use this because it's hydrating, it didn't sting my eyes, it felt good. Yeah, at the minute I'm using the Cover FX, which is just as good, no problem with that. But um, yeah, when I was getting used to using a setting spray on my brushes um this was great and it's great for all over the face it's a definite um a definite yes i would say for anybody who has sensitive skin who gets burning skin if you want to use it with shadows great another concealer i've been going through these concealers this is the tar ultra creamy um tape shape Double duty. <laughs> and uh, I love this one. I prefer this definitely to the normal one. Um, the normal one is great, absolutely love that. But yeah, for mature skin, I would say this is definitely worth trying out. You know, I love that it's so full coverage, it felt hydrating. I just love the way my eyes looked using this. So I miss it. I'm definitely gonna repurchase this. For sure. So um, this is the Spectrum Luxury Vegan Brush Soap, Pink Grapefruit and Bergamot. There's still a little bit in there, but it's not worth using. I can't really get a brush in there anymore. Uh, maybe a small one, but I'm using a different one. So here you got um, one of those lids, so you can use it to clean your brushes. I thought it's great, you know, it did get my brushes clean, they smelt lovely. Um, I thought it's great, but I prefer the one which I'm using now, which is by Unicorn Cosmetics. That's great, you know, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's nice. Uh, but would I get it again? Probably not, because I found one which works better which is the Unicorn Cosmetics one. But no, I mean, it's okay. We have here a Skin & Co Morning Dew face wash. This is really nice. So it's like an exfoliating face wash. So, you know, it's um, got like acids and stuff in it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's great, really nice. Um, I loved it, it didn't sting the eyes or anything. 
you know, it always made my skin feel really clean and um, I got this free, or well not free because I pay subscription, so I got it in a glossy box um, and they often send them out in there. Every, every few months I'll get a Skin & Co, you know, um, face wash, morning dew or the other one which is exfoliating, like proper, like with, you know, the bees in it and that. Uh, but yeah, I really like that. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge Face Spray Thirsty Skin Relief. I love this. It's really nice. It's um, small, but I got it in one of those like sets, you know, with other products like the um, eye cream on with the ball. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I really like this, and uh, it did exactly as it said. It's definitely very moisturising and um, yeah, I would repurchase this again and I would go full size for sure. Love it. Amor Revisca. I don't know how to say it guys. It's this one. Amor Revisca. Amor Revisca. I'm not sure how you say that. But this is a night um, lip mask. And oh, I love this so much. I went through it so quickly. It's the best lip mask I have ever tried. No kidding. And I got a lot. I got a lot of them, a lot of balms. I love my lips to feel moisturised. I am obsessed with lip masks and lip, lip balms. I am. And this is by far the best I've ever used um, to date. I love it. It's really thick it's not sticky so you know it's not transferring when I wake up in the morning it's still on my lips and my lips feel so hydrated and they look plump um oh it's just amazing so this I got off Beauty Bay and I'm going to be repurchasing this again I just don't know how to say their name Amoro Visca. I don't know. We have here Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in Girlfriend. I used this for quite a while and um, yeah, you know, I liked it but it's just got dry. There's um, not really anything in there anymore. It's just dry now, dried out so probably I should do a declutter for these like makeup products which aren't completely used up but I mean they're dead they're gone there's you know so it's going it was okay but it's annoying that it's dried out but I've had it a while so okay now these I haven't technically used up I haven't so here I have the um, Figs and Rogue Soft Focus Pore Perfecting HD Matte Veil Hydro Pore Primer. Mm -hmm. Well, this um, was awful. It made my face look cakey. Uh, you know when you use something which just isn't right, it, it was just taken off. The makeup when I was putting the foundation on, it was literally coming off. It looked so cakey. There's a patch where it just looked, it was just coming off and looking awful. Same with this one, which is the Satin Soft Blurring Primer by Fix and Rogue. So I don't know whether they're out of date because I have had them a while. Um, I don't know though, probably only about nine months, no more than that. I mean, I I got them this year, you know, at the beginning of the year. So they shouldn't have gone bad, but um, they have. Unless I'm using them with the wrong foundation, which is possible because I heard certain primers with certain foundations or they don't mix, I don't know. But you know what, I've got enough primers, I need to be using these could go, because it says 12 months, 12 months, so they're going. Shame, I can't remember what they were like when I got them, 
I said I got them with a glossy box, so I didn't buy them myself. I didn't choose them myself. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll get some more with glossy box in the future. And when I do, I will try them probably with the same foundation I use or any of my foundations and see how it goes. And maybe it's just out of date. Maybe I've had it longer than nine months. Maybe I got them at the end of the year. Last thing I have is this derma planner so i've gone through one i've never done this before i was watching a video on youtube this woman was using it and she did like um, a week of trying it and then she did uh like a longer time like three months of trying it and her skin looked great and really look good and the benefits of using these was not only exfoliation but collagen production also getting rid of dark spots um you know all that sort of thing like just even skin tone and obviously getting rid of the fuzz you know and um i was like wow i gotta try that so i got these i'll show you what i bought so I bought a pack of 20 just off eBay. I thought I'm not going to spend loads because I don't know whether I like it. Um, I'm just not sure. The other thing with using these is that your other products will sink into the skin and get absorbed into the skin a lot quicker and easier. Um, so, you know, benefits me for sure because I got a lot of products. And um, yeah, so uh, I really wanted to try it. So I bought them, didn't spend a lot of money on them, to be honest, it's only about a fiver. And you're only gonna use one, like twice. So, um, you know, I will go through them quite quickly, I'm sure. And you're only gonna use them about two to three times a week. And afterwards, you just moisturize. I've been using, after using uh, this, I've been making sure I hydrate with the Pixie Skin Treats Jasmine Oil Blend because it's very oily <laughs> and hydrating and um, niacinamide as well. I got niacinamide by The Ordinary here and um, I love this. So last night when I used this, I put the niacinamide on, then I put the Pixie jasmine oil blend and then I moisturize and my skin felt great. A okay, third time using it um, I really enjoyed uh, the results. I mean I could definitely tell that something's going on. Also I am getting like little breakouts, little tiny white pimples sort of here and here and that is because you're exfoliating them because it's increasing the turnover of your cells it's literally getting rid of all the crap under your skin traps so i'm all for that yeah um really enjoy using this very impressed can't believe i haven't used it before so this i used twice it's now gone i'm on my second one and so then i know what i'm using i just grab different colours so this I've used once I use this again and um, yeah I just make sure I clean it with um, uh, what what do I use I can't think of the name I make sure I clean it with isopropanol <laughs> panel pro isopropanol 90% terrible at saying words but um yeah that's what i just uh put it in a little spray bottle here i got um i use this avida up uh and uh yeah i just put it in there and i spray on palettes if i need to clean them other things i need to clean and i just use that i wipe it clean obviously with a tissue or cotton pad and then i'll just spray it ready for the next use and after i've used it then i'll chuck it but yeah i'm really enjoying the derma panning and i suggest if, if you're interested in trying that out go check out uh, youtube videos on how to do it because um you just don't want to do it wrong really you know um i mean with these ones not so sharp you know um 
but they still scratch if, if it's at the wrong angle you know so yeah, that's all I've used in the month and um, quite a lot there so please like and subscribe come back soon and I hope you have a wonderful day or evening bye